What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You got it. Road to Pro. However, this one's a little different. We're doing a review on Rodlock. I have actually had this for probably close to 12 years now. Uh, it's even got some chew marks on it from my dogs. However, I actually think this little simple device is one of the best training tools that you can get when learning to play foosball. I want to show you all the different little things that this is actually good for. It's not just good for shooting on and holding the guys in place. A lot of people think that's what it's for, but I have a bunch of other really cool things that I'm going to show you that this works great with. Let's jump on the table and let me show you why this is one of the best tools in foosball. So the first and most obvious way is for when you're actually shooting the ball. You can take this, clamp it down, and now set these guys exactly where you want them. And then when you shoot the ball, say, into the guy, it'll stay in place. This is a great tool for just this purpose alone so that you don't have to keep readjusting the guys over and over and over again. You can set the guys up, pick a hole, and keep shooting that same hole without the whole guys moving back and forth. I'm sure you guys have set up before, taken a shot, the guys move ever so slightly. This will keep the guys in place, but that is just one of the really great things that the rod lock can do. Another great way to use rod lock is actually a passing tool. Most people don't know that if you hook this up and set the guy the way you want him, he'll stay there. And you can actually get this to kind of lock the whole rod in place. So now, if you come to the other side of the table, you can set up your pass, and it'll actually stick right to the guy. This is a great way for practicing your passes from your two rod to your three rod. This is great for doubles play, singles, really whatever. It's a great tool for that. Another great way to actually use the rod lock is for practicing your five bar passing. Not so much to lock the rod in place, but to give you something that when it hits, it'll actually have the guy go into some backswing for you so that you can then learn to catch the rebound. Say I'm working on my lane pass. So the best way to get those two scenarios to work for you is to take this and just attach it to the rod. Find out where the balance point is. You can now turn the guy to be in whatever position you want him to be in and he'll swing with any kind of force. So if you want him to sit on the wall, you can have him sit on the wall. If you want him to play defense against you, well, you can even do that. Now that I've set it up, I can even hit the ball into the guy and work on my rebounds. I want to make something clear. I'm not being paid by Rodlock to do this. I honestly think this is a great tool for anybody that's learning to play foosball. I, I don't want you to just run out and say, oh, well, Chase said to buy this. Think about what I've said. If you think it's something that you can use, definitely get it. If you get the ability and have the extra money, I'd suggest getting two. Um, <clears throat> the reason for two is you can actually use it for goalie wars. You can set one on each batch, the five and the three. It's a great goalie war tool. And it's just a great all-around tool to have. My goal is to do a few more reviews on other items that are out there that are considered foosball training tools. However, this one I've just had for a really long time. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure to comment on this video on what you think and what you would like to see me test next. Pretty simple, really. I hope you guys like this video. It's a quick, easy tutorial on how to use this bad boy. It's very simple. It's kind of obvious, it's nothing too crazy, and there's a few different versions out there of this that other people have made that I think is also very good. It's all kind of the same thing. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. Subscribe, comment, do all that kind of fun stuff. It really helps out my channel. If you really and honestly want to see more of my videos, I need you guys to do these things. Um, I'm not like trying to beg, but I'm begging. Uh, I gotta have subscribers and viewers to make more videos, otherwise I just can't do these things. So, <clears throat> thank you guys so much. And until next time, happy foozin'. Hiya!